It was a fine Saturday in November when an early morning train took me across the outskirts of Greater Tokyo, through the rolling hills of Yamanashi, and into the town of Kai, which houses a portion of the Chichibutamakai National Park. Among the numerous proud peaks of the park stands another member of the Japanese hundred famous mountains, and today I will be ascending it in an epic yet accessible day hike. It's a lot more crowded than I would expect it. Crowdedness and the full bus aside, the morning was bright and hopeful. Welcome to Kami Hikawato, yeah? It's very cold at the trailhead. And part of the reason for that is that this trailhead is a luxurious 1600 meters above sea level. <laughs> which probably accounts for its popularity quite a bit. On today's menu is a straightforward loop hike, which I will take counterclockwise in order to encounter the best parts of the hike while going up. It was time to do some hiking. The morning air was frigid, and the sun cast a cold brilliance over the forest. Marking an important trail junction was Fukuchan, a welcoming mountain hut that also has a campsite. I took the chance for a short snack break on the benches, but I didn't linger for long. Eventually, the trail led to an open view of Mount Fuji, the first among many to come. Kaizan So Hut came into view and a new significant landmark was at hand. The Dai Bosatsu Pass is a recognizable signature location, historically important as an Edo era trading route, and also featured in film. The hut ran an eatery for hungry passerbys, with many theme memorabilia also on sale.
you can see the town and that's the something Alps. Even from here, the view was amazing and the peak further down the path showed a preview of the great ridgeline hike to come. It was still too early for lunch, but it was such a nice spot that I couldn't help pausing for a snack break. So the last time I was here, the conditions were quite so pleasant. The wind was so strong. Today is sunny and breezy. I was off to the ridges. Coming to a well-maintained emergency hut in an area sheltered from the relentless winds, I decided it was time for lunch. camping trip that was supposed to go yesterday but debris from the recent typhoon actually blocked the road so the bus couldn't get to the trail yet I found that out and I had to go all the way back home now that was a bad feeling I almost wanted to camp here in Daibosatsu thought about it for a really long time but in the end I think that there was no reason to stress myself. And that was the conclusion I came to. Like, I really like camping, but I was unfamiliar with the campsite. My experience with this place tells me that it gets really cold. I think, you know, sometimes you just have to let go. Just take what you have, enjoy it. Don't worry about not maximizing the experience so much. It can be a fine line between healthy carpe diem and being greedy with one's experiences. It helps sometimes to take a step back and ask yourself if you're trying to do too much. That's the hut where I had lunch.
Having witnessed the magnificence of Kaminari Rock, literally Thunder Rock, you might be surprised to learn that this isn't the true summit. That is an unlikely location, just a short hike further away. So, after all that Lord of the Rings style hiking, you'd be surprised to know that this is the summit. Textbook example of when summits don't necessarily have the best view. Anticlimactic to be sure, but that's why it is important to enjoy the journey. I returned out of the woods back into the brilliant sunshine where I lingered on the breathtaking platform, breathing the flashing freezing air for a few final minutes before it was time to head downhill. This is the trail that you would have climbed if you had taken the left turn at the branch. Lots of pebbles, so it's kind of slippery in that sense. And it's just no fun. Definitely prefer going down this way. I can't really say that I'm sure that I'm glad that I didn't decide to camp but I'm kind of glad I decided not to camp I'm just feeling somehow really satisfied right now really enjoyed the mountains today oh man It is beautiful down here. Sun head back. <laughs> 